This project is a plastic box. It gives us an opportunity to explore how we can do top-down design inside of a part studio, as well as looking at the design of molded objects using our features such as split, draft, and shell. I've started a new part studio in millimeters. I'm going to start a sketch on the top sketch plane. And this box that we're making, I'm going to use a center point rectangle and use the origin as my center point. And it is 150 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And this defines the length and width of the box. So I'll accept that. And my box has a total height of 50 millimeters, and it's going to be in two halves. But I'm going to create all of this at once using extrude as a solid. We'll choose this profile. I want to make this symmetric, so half is above and half is below the, uh, the top plane, and has a total thickness of 50 millimeters. So now I've created essentially a solid that uh, represents the size of the box. Now there is a 5 millimeter fillet on all of the edges. So I'm going to use my fillet tool. It's already set for a radius of 5 millimeters. I can use a window to choose all of the edges with tangent propagation turned on and accept that. So that has applied a 5 millimeter fillet on all of the edges. Now, with this much done, we're going to split the box. So I'm going to choose Split from the Feature Toolbar. It wants to know the part, so I'm just going to click on uh, the box itself, and then the entity to split with. So in this case, remember, we made this uh, symmetric to the top plane, we'll use the top plane to split. And as soon as I click that, you can see down here under my parts list that I now have two parts. I'm going to accept this, and if I turn one part off, I can see, oh, part, part two is the top, and part one is the bottom. So my next step would be to hollow these two parts out to create the cavity. So I'm going to start by turning off part two and use my shell. In this case, I want to remove this face. And the shell thickness, 2.5 millimeters is correct. That's what I want. So I'll go ahead and accept this. And I'll turn that off and turn the visibility on on part two, which is this top. And again, I will shell. I want to remove that surface at 2.5 millimeters and accept that. So now I've shelled out both sides. If I want to look at a section view so I can see, I'm going to turn this so we're looking through the right view and view normal to the sketch plane. And you can see that we have hollowed out both sides with a wall thickness of 2.5 millimeters. Next we need to create a lap joint where the two parts of my uh, box come together. I'm going to start a sketch and I want it to be on this right sketch plane that I'm currently looking at. And we need to use a point right here where the two halves of the box come together. With this I can now create a corner rectangle, Start snapping to that point. This corner rectangle that we'll use for the lap joint has a uh, width of 1.25 and a height of 2.75 millimeters. And with this, we've defined the sketch that we'll use for making the lap joint. So I'm going to accept this sketch. 
I'm going to turn section view off, go to isometric. Now this is going to be used on the top. So I'm going to start a sweep and for my face or my region, I want my sketch too. So I'm just going to click on it in the feature list. And now it wants to know what's going to be the sweep path. And I'm going to use the edge of the box as the sweep path. Oh, I didn't want this one. I hold down the shift key and click on it again to remove it from the selection set. And now we've gone all the way around as being the path. We're going to remove the material rather than add material. So I can see now that I have a cutout. And that would be merged with part two. So I can see that I've created a lip or half of my lap joint. Go back to isometric. Now I'm going to turn this view off so now I'm looking at the bottom in this I'm going to also use a sweep and in this case I want to add material and for my region I'm going to choose sketch 2 again only this time we're going to be adding material and we'll choose the sweep path again along the inside edge of the box and you can see that I'm adding this material along this path. And this is going to uh, merge with part one. So I'll go ahead and accept that. And I have added that material to make the lap. So we can turn the other half back on so that they fit together. And again, we will look at our section view. And in this case, you can see that we've created this lap joint where the two halves would snap together. Because these parts will be made in a mold, I need to add some angle to the material on the inside so they can be released from the mold. This is often referred to as draft. And we have a feature that will add draft. So I'm going to go back. I'll turn off my section view. Go back to isometric. And I'm going to turn off the top. We'll add draft to the inside. I have a feature tool for draft. It asks me to first identify the neutral plane. Well, the neutral plane is the the surface that's going to be measured against for the angle of the draft. Now my draft angle is set at three degrees, which is pretty standard uh, for a part. And now that I've created or chosen my neutral plane, I can choose entities to be swept. And it should be these walls on the inside. Now to check, I'm going to turn on translucent so I can see inside and let's look at this edge. I can see along here that it is the inside edge now is at an angle. If I wanted to reverse that angle I could just hit this arrow and you see that it's going the opposite direction. But to be released from the mold it needs to have this positive angle this way. And so I can see that that's been uh, applied all the way around so my inside surface. So I'm going to accept this and I have draft on that one. So we will turn on the other half and turn off this one. And I'm going to work with this top. Now on this one, I will also choose draft. And for my neutral plane, I'm going to choose this area right on the lip of my lap joint. And entities to draft will be along this inside edge. And again, I can see that I've created that draft and it goes all the way around. So we'll accept that. I'll turn the visibility on for both parts. And we can see, just looking at translucent, how we have created the 
draft for uh, being able to release from the mold. So I'll turn back on to shaded. And I've created my two parts.